Hi, today I'll show you how to spin a fully managed production ready MySQL cluster in minutes with the database as a service digital ocean offer. I'm in my dashboard right now. I will go to create and database. That first screen will show me options to create my database cluster. First thing I need to choose is what engine I will use. You have access to PostgreSQL, MySQL and Redis. For that demo, I will choose MySQL. As you can see, we support version 8. And when we're going to support more version, you're going to be able to select the specific version you want to install. Second option is to choose the node plan for my cluster. In my case, let me choose the 30 bucks per month one. I can also choose a standby node, which is optional and will give me an automatic fail back if anything happened to my main node. Next option is the data center. A good practice is to choose a data center that is either closer to most of your customers, but also which is the same data center where you have your droplet or multiple droplet that can access your database. You can view which droplet you have in which region by highlighting the little text under each data center where you have droplets. In my case, let's choose NYC3. New York Tree has my data center because this is where one of my droplet is. Last but not least, I can choose a unique database cluster name, which I highly recommend so it's easier for you to recognize your database if you have many, and also select the project in which one you want to deploy your database. Let's create the database cluster. So it's usually creating within five minutes, but during that time, you're not left alone. We have that little tutorial that gives you proper information about how to continue your database, but also having access to different information and tutorial. Second step is about securing your connection to the database. So right now, the default setting is allowing every incoming connection to be able to connect to your database, which is not something you want. So let's add trusted sources. You probably want to have your droplet that will access to your database in your trusted source, but for the sake of that demo, I will only have my own computer IP, which is important because in my case, I want to access my database from different tool, but also from the CLI. If I do that, I load this unbound secure connection. Any other connection that are not part of the trusted source won't have access to my database. Third screen of the getting started guide is your parameters to access your database, which is the username, the password, the host, the port. We are creating a default database called default DB. And as you can see, there is also SSL mode that is required. There's no way for you to change this because we only allow secure connection to the database. If you want to verify that connection, you can also download the CA certificate and do the verification. We also give you access to connection parameters and different ways to make your life easier. In that case, I have connection string, which I can use with my SQL SH or any other client to connect to my database. Last one is the flags, which is the one I'm going to use to show you how to connect from your database from the CLI. I can only copy this and I will be able to paste that comment in my terminal to access my database once it will be created. If I click continue, the last step is about helping you to migrate your database from an existing one, if it's the case, but also there's one feature that is really important and it's the time for automatic update. One of the benefits of having managed database by DigitalOcean is that we are doing the update for you, but you need to choose a specific time where those updates will be applied. Don't expect any downtime from your database, but you can expect that during that time frame, connection may be a little bit slower. When it comes to having data on the cloud, one important step is having backup. And we already take care of you. So once the database will be created, you will already have a first backup of your instance that you created. So now I'm nearly done. My database is finishing being created. And I'm now on the overview page when I can see different information about the database that I just created. Now my database is created, so I can see what other option I have access. There's the Insights tab, which is empty right now because I just created the database. But this is where you're going to be able to get information about the output and input 
into your database. And also you're going to have access to the latency, which is the average time to complete a fetch, insert, update, and delete statement. Those are important statistic and graph to help you see how healthy is your database. Logging queries are things you can access from CLI or you can access from different client, but for the sake of making it easier for you, you also have access to that information right from the dashboard. You also have a list of backups in your own dashboard. Before last option, you have a list of users and databases, which you can both create directly from the dashboard. Keep in mind that most of those things can be done either from any other MySQL client or by using the DigitalOcean API. Last but not least, the settings tab, which is where you can change the cluster configuration if you need to upgrade or downgrade your cluster. This is also where you can change your cluster data center and it can be done without any downtime. Same for the trusted source, changing information about the maintenance window and this is also where you can destroy your database cluster if you don't need it anymore. Some other options that you can use in the action menu. One of the options is to have a read-only node. That read-only node will give faster access to your user in a different data center. So it's not something that you need to do, but it's an option there. Now I can use my terminal, paste the comment, and I'm gonna be connected to my SQL instance. What I can do right now show databases and also show tables what's going to be empty in the default database so that's it for the database has service mysql offering from DigitalOcean. to start using mysql managed database go at do.co slash db if you have any more question please check the documentation the tutorials that are available on the community site also has question in the q a section